This video takes a look at the quantitative analysis of tumors in PET scans with export to DICOM SEG and SR files. We are using the suite of publicly available PET analysis tools developed at the University of Iowa in combination with the DICOM quantitative reporting extension for 3D Slicer, a multi-platform free and open source software package for visualization and medical image computing. This video will cover installation and usage. In this example, we are using 3D Slicer version 4.9 Please note that the tools are available for several versions of 3D Slicer. Please use the extension manager to check availability for the version of 3D Slicer that you would like to use. From the 3D Slicer main window, navigate to the extension manager, then search for the suite of pet tools. We will install the pet DICOM extension to enable the loading of pet scans with standardized uptake values the PET tumor segmentation tool which allows segmenting lesions in PET scans with minimal user interaction, and the PET indice extension for deriving quantitative indices specific to PET analysis. In addition, we'll install the DICOM quantitative reporting extension which supports procuring segmentations with derived measurements and allows export to DICOM SEG and SR files. After installation of these extensions, restart 3D Slicer. Begin by loading the PET scan that you wish to analyze from the DICOM database. In order to load the dataset as a SUV normalized volume, make sure that you select the DICOM PET SUV plugin. Once the dataset is loaded, select the quantitative reporting module under the quantification flyout menu. The quantitative reporting module consists of several areas, most importantly the selector area to start a new measurement report, a segmentation area for manipulation of segmentation objects, also known as segments, a measurements area to configure the set of desired quantitative indices and to check obtained measurements, and the report buttons area for saving results to DICOM. To start with the quantitative analysis, we create a new measurement report and assign it the loaded PET scan that we want to analyze. For the segmentation of lesions, any of the segment editor effects can be utilized. We will use the PET tumor segmentation effect, which was designed specifically for this task. More information about the segmentation method can be found in our paper or on the tools website. To start segmenting a new lesion, click Add and select the PET tumor segmentation effect. Then, click roughly at the center of the lesion to start the segmentation process. Once done with the first lesion, we can start segmenting another lesion by clicking Add. For each segmented lesion, we provide a descriptive name and assign proper terminological codes. This information will be stored in the exported DICOM SEG and SR files. We will name the first segmentation, lesion 1, and double click on the color box to the left of the name. This opens the terminology metadata dialog box where we can assign segmentation category and type and anatomic code. By default, Slicer shows an extensive list of terminology codes. The install PET indice extension provides lists of terminology codes more specific to head and neck cancer. Thus, we can select this list and label the segmented lesion as neoplasm primary, located at the base of tongue. Once a lesion segmentation is completed, the quantitative reporting module will automatically calculate a set of quantitative indices and list them in a table at the bottom of the module. You can configure the set of indices to calculate using the Segment Statistics Parameters button. In this example, we are only interested in PET-related measurements and so disable all other Segment Statistic plugins. By hovering over a specific measurement value, more detailed information about the related measurement is displayed. The first measurement value in the list, for example, is the mean uptake value in standardized uptake value body weight. Once we have segmented all lesions, assigned them proper codes, and calculated the quantitative indices of interest, we can export the results as DICOM-SEG and SR files to the DICOM database. Clicking on Complete Report asks for additional metadata for the DICOM reports. Here, for example, we can enter observer's name, then click Enter to complete the process.